Welcome back class. Now uh, let us discuss the Michaelis Milton equation in case of non-linear pharmacokinetics. See, uh, the uh, kinetics of a non-linear pharmacokinetics can be expressed by Michaelis Milton equation. Now the general equation for the Michaelis Milton equation is given by minus dc by dt is equal to remember now dc by what is dc by dt? dc by dt is the rate of uh, decline in the drug concentration. This is given by V max C upon Km plus C. Over here, D, dc by dt represents the decline in the rate of drug concentration, minus sign representing the decline or the decrease in concentration. V max is the maximum possible rate achievable, C is the concentration, and Km is the Michaelis Milton constant. Now, we have three possible cases. The first case is case 1, when the value of Km is equal to C. If the value of Km is equal to C and replacing this value in equation 1, what do we get? We will get dc by dt is equal to v max by 2. This is the first case. Now, let us consider the second case. In case of case 2, we have if the value of Km is very large as compared to C, which means that we can ignore this value C in the denominator. Now, the value minus dc by dt becomes equal to v max C upon Km. Now, let us consider the third case. In the third case, we see that The value of Km is very small as compared to C. Now, replacing this in equation 1, what do we get? If the value of Km is very less, this can be ignored or neglected in the denominator. The value C gets cancelled by C. Hence, minus dc by dt will be equal to Vmax. So, as we can see, in the first case, we get minus dc by dt is equal to Vmax by so, in case the value of Km is equal to the concentration, plasma concentration, the maximum possible rate will be Vmax by 2 or half the maximum possible rate. In case the value of Km is much larger than C, we get this expression which is similar to or it represents a first order process. In case the value of Km is very small as compared to C, this equation it represents a zero order or a constant rate process. Now, depicting this graphically, what do we see? A plot of dc by dt versus c. This has been done earlier also. This is Vmax by 2, this point. Now, this represents zero order at high dose. This represents first order at low dose, while this part represents mixed order. So this is the michaelis menten equation part, michaelis menten part for the non-linear pharmacokinetics where we have three cases, Km is equal to C, the value Km more than C and the value Km less than C. This easily represents the metabolism, excretion and the pharmacokinetics of non-linear case. Now, let us consider how do we estimate the values of, how can we estimate the values of Km and Vmax. How to estimate the values of Km and Vmax? Now, this can be done by, carefully just have a look at this. How can we estimate the values of Km and Vmax? Coming to our general equation, minus dc by dt is equal to Vmax c divided by Km plus c. Now, on integration of this equation we get, on integration of this equation we will get and converting to log form. Simultaneously, we are doing integration and converting to log form. We get log c is equal to 
log c naught log c naught minus sorry plus c naught minus c upon 2.303 km minus v max t upon 2.303 km this is the final equation after integration and converting to log form now if we plot a graph if we plot a graph by using the back extrapolated values what do we get this point represents log c not back extrapolated this point is log c not and the slope of this line slope of this line is going to be equal to minus v max upon 2.303 km so by the slope we get values of both v max and km so this is the method how to determine or how to estimate the values of v max and km using michaelis menten equation its integration and conversion into log form so this students is about the michaelis menten equation estimation of the farnoco kinetic parameters in case of non linear farnoco kinetics thank you keep studying